Hello guys, what is up? It's me, it's Sana, and today I've got a new video for you guys. Today, I'm gonna show you guys what I got on my iPhone XR. It's my beautiful driver's license in the back. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys what apps I have on my phone and the background I have and stuff and all that fun stuff so it's raining by the way so if you can hear slight rain I'm sorry that's that's yeah that's just the rain so the first thing you see when you open my phone is my lock screen which is this it says only the brave and that is a song by Louis Tomlinson um, Scream Walls by Louis Tomlinson. <laughs> I made it myself. I was trying to look something like that up on Pinterest. Just a simple plain background with only the brave on top of it, but I just could not find it. So I made it myself. Thank you very much. And then when you open my phone, you hear you cut. You open up to this beautiful home screen with all of the, of course, standard apps. Uh, Apple puts on your phone. Um, here again, my background is just very simple. It's just a black screen with tired on it because that's me, I'm always tired. Um, well, there is one app on here, it's called LSC Smart Connect. And if you open that app, you go to the app where I can turn on my lights that is right over there. Um, yeah, if I can get it to turn on, that'd be awesome. Yeah, it doesn't want to turn on, <laughs> but all right, fine. And down below in the dock, I have, of course, phone, I have WhatsApp and I have Snapchat and I have Safari. And then on the next screen, I have this. I try to make it like aesthetic, you know, just try to make it like a little bit neat, but kind of feel as you can see, because there is one app that's just randomly there, but I'm going to start at the top. We're gonna start in the left corner, which of course is my YouTube folder. And as you can see, I there have YouTube, YouTube Studio, Google Drive. Don't really use it that much anymore. And I also have TubeBuddy. I can just open that up and show you guys what that is. It shows my subscriber count and it shows my YouTube videos and how many views they got and how many views they gained since the last time I took a look. Um, as you can see, there's one video which is private. But when this video is uploaded, that video is not private anymore, so yeah. So that's TubeBuddy, and next to that I have Fonto and I have PixArt. I use both of those apps for making my thumbnails. But I also have those on my iPad because I like using my iPad a little bit better when making thumbnails because it's bigger, so I don't really use them that often, but I do have it on here. Next to that, we have my Instagram folder, and we of course just Simply, we have Instagram, we have Fisco, which I always use to edit my photos, just throw the filter on there. And I have Camera Connect, which is um, an app I use to connect my phone to my camera so I can transfer photos I took on my camera to my phone so I can edit them on my phone and then later on upload them or use them as my thumbnails. And then we have Lightroom. Love Lightroom. It's an amazing app. Um, in Lightroom, I have Avis presets, like the free ones, because it just it's so broke to buy the real ones. I have Avis presets, and I have a preset from someone I follow on uh, TikTok. I don't really know if I can. Oh, here it is. Uh, it's it's this one. That's another preset I got from someone of, of TikTok, but I'm not gonna go into detail about it. If you guys want to see how I edit my videos, uh, video, how I edit my videos, if you guys want to see how I edit my photos, leave it down in the comments and maybe I'll show you guys how I edit my photos. Next to that, we have one of the or unorganized apps on my phone. Next to that, we have this, oh, sorry, this, folder is called love because I love all the things that are in here. Uh, I have Spotify because just I, I, I use Spotify so much. It's amazing. I have Netflix. I have TikTok. 
Follow me on TikTok if you haven't already. I have Disney Plus, I have Pinterest, and I have Apple Music. I don't use Apple Music, but I do have it in there. Don't know why. I have Wattpad, of course. I have Google Home, which I need to use for my Chromecast, which I don't really use that often because the Wi-Fi in my room just sucks. And then I have CoStar and I have Bytes. I don't really use Byte that much and I also don't really use CoStar that much. But, oh, well, I can't really show you guys CoStar, that's sad. CoStar is just something that has to do with like your star sign and stuff. I'm not really that into star signs, but I, CoStar is just a fun app. And then normally I get like notifications and stuff. Like as you can see here, yesterday at, at 9.55 p.m. I got a notification from CoStar, so yeah. Uh, next to the, f the folder which I call love, I have a folder which just, I hate opening that folder. The folder next to it is my school folder with my school schedule app thing. I don't really know how to explain it, but it's just an app with my schedule and with um, grades I get and just homework I need to do. Next to that, I have the email I need to use for that specific for, for school and then next to that I have the 9292 app and that is uh, an app I need to use here in the Netherlands specifically in Drenthe and Groningen I think too but I'm not really sure and that is an app I we can use to see when our buses come but as you can see it's not downloaded on my phone anymore because I haven't used a bus in a year so I haven't really had to check that much um then we have something for my taxes and stuff, so it's not important, I'm not gonna open that. Next to that we have the train app, which I also barely use, but it's just very handy to have. Next to that I have something else I need to use for school, and underneath I have an app for my health insurance, and next to that I have an app for my Au fait, it's, it sounds so Dutch, but it, it, it's just very Dutch. That's like the, the card we can use to like... It's just, it's just a transport card, let's just say it like that, for like public transportation. Then we have a folder called Games, which I barely use, but it's still on there. As you can see, I have Episode, which I played a few weeks ago, so... I'm not gonna delete that because I also need to use it for my videos. Next to that I have pixel art which I also have on my iPad and I just do it on my iPad way more often because it's just it's such a tiny screen on my phone. Next to that I have Best Fiends. Oh my god I am obsessed with Best Fiends like you have no idea. That game is so freaking addictive. It's ridiculous. As you guys can see I'm at level 790. Oh started the game, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, let me just go and do this real quick. They did not sponsor this video. It would be cool if they did, but I, but they didn't. I'm just obsessed with this game. I've had this for a few years, and then one day I decided I don't want to play it anymore, so I deleted it, but then I re-downloaded it, and it's just, it's a really fun game. It's just something that, to like, pass your time when you're bored, so. Right, um, next to that I have an app which is called Blue, there I have Wish. I used to have, like, such an addiction to the app Wish, I sh just bought way too much stuff on there, it was ridiculous. Next to that we have Twitter. Twitter! And as you guys can see, um... Yeah, it's just, it, ju it doesn't need an explanation, you guys get what it is. Next to that I have Facebook, don't really use Facebook, I just only use it for like a few things to like connect my games and stuff and that's it. Hey! Thanks! Sorry, hay fever. <clears throat> then I have PayPal. Don't really use that that much often either, but I just need it for like, if I need to pay for stuff, you know? And it's just, it's, yeah. Next to that, we have Messenger. It's from Facebook. Again, also don't really use that, but I just don't delete it off my phone because sometimes I need to use it and I'm like, well, oh, great. 
I have a Dropbox, which is just filled with old pictures, which you can't see because I don't have Wi-Fi. I have the PS app. Um, I use that one not that much, but I use it often, so just sometimes I use it. Next to that, we have a folder that's called shop. And to be honest, it's not only shopping. You guys will see later. I have H and I have the H and M app. I have my, I have the app for my bank. I have the McDonald's app, of course. I have Thuisbezorgd. I've got Uber Eats, Vinted. Um, I posted a few clothing items on Vinted, which I just I showed you guys in my. Um, trying on everything on my closet video and I put it on my profile so if you guys again I don't have any Wi-Fi that sucks I uploaded 10 items so if you guys want to buy that just take a look at my vintage profile go ahead I'll link it down below and then the same folder I have the Photophone app so I can keep track of my data I have the Kruidvat app which is just it's a Dutch shop just like Hema, that's also a Dutch shop. Um, I have Depop. I don't really use Depop. Um, I also don't really know again. I just don't know why I downloaded it and I haven't deleted it yet. I need to. Oh wait, no, I wanted to use Depop first to sell all of my clothes, but then I discovered that if you use Depop, you need to pay Depop also a certain amount of money when you sell your clothes. So I was like, yeah, we're, we're, we're not gonna do that. Next to that, I have the app called Flow, which I use for my period to keep track of it. And next to the shop app, we have an app with some random stuff on it. There's a lot more stuff that can go on here, but it's just, yeah. Um, I've got Tinder because a bitch is single and just needs someone to date, so. That's why we got Tinder. That's also why we got Yubo. Don't really use it that often. But we still have it. And I've got the app Video Leap and Prequel. I downloaded those because someone on TikTok downloaded it and used those two apps to um, get some effects on videos and stuff. And I was like, well, I'm, I wanna try that. So let me download it. But then I never used them and I still haven't deleted them off my phone. Yeah, and then last but not least, we have the Marktplatz app. If you're Dutch, you know what that is. So, and as you can see, I looked up a lot of radios for my car because my current radio is not working anymore. So I decided, you know what, let me buy a new one. So I bought a new one today, to be completely true. But that is all I have on my phone but my phone's not that interesting <laughs> um yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this oh I hope you guys enjoyed watching what apps I have on my phone <laughs> if you guys did give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet and then you guys will see me in one of my next videos bye guys We've been dancing for so long